before we trade into convergence, let me trade, uh, say, four more times. Let me move that out of the way here and say calculate. And I'll say use setting changes, settings changes for current calculation only. Okay, now the aggregate mass residual has dropped to about uh, 0.5, and similarly, you know, and correspondingly for the momentum residuals and so on. And if I look at residuals of mass imbalance, okay, it's gone down um, by, by about that proportion, I think. And if I go back and take a look at the axial velocity, Okay, you can see that these, okay, there's a speeding up of the flow. And over here, for instance, if I right click on it, you know, it's it's gone up. So the flow is speeded up here. And the if I right click here, and it's, it's slowing down over there. So the effect of the, you know, um, the wall is kind of propagating into, into the flow. And now I can run to convergence. So I'll just give a large number of iterations. So it'll um, iterate until the residuals fall below 10 to the power of minus 6. I'll say OK there. OK, so the, the white is continuity. Um, that's, you know, so that you can think of as an aggregate mass imbalance. That says x velocity, you have to interpret this as axial momentum. So that's the imbalance in the axial momentum, and that's the aggregate imbalance. The green is the aggregate imbalance in the in the radial momentum. And this is a logarithmic scale. So the the imbalances are falling, you know, exponentially, which is very nice to see. And I can assure you that as you go to more complicated problems, you won't you won't see something like that. So enjoy that. And so what we have done here is we have, you know, by saying that the solution has converged, we have reduced the linearization error below a tolerance. So let me go back to that particular slide. Okay, here is the discretization and linearization overview. So by iterating the convergence, we have dropped the linearization error um, to, you know, presumably a small amount. And we have now a solution to our boundary value problem that has a small amount of linearization error and an un unknown amount of discretization error, which we'll quantify when we verify the solution and we refine the Nash. And go back, uh, go back to Fluent and save the project.